Hello Forge fans! Mankind is taking the next big step in its history. After the colonization of Venus, the next research expedition to a moon of the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, will start this year. But before we dive into the depths of space, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to never miss any more videos about Forge of Empires. On the moon of Jupiter, exotic genes have been found deep in the ocean. Humans are now venturing deeper into space than ever before to colonize the moon, study the genes, and hopefully gain new knowledge that will help humanity in the long run. 50 main quests, 45 side quests, and 15 recurring quests will guide you through this great step of mankind. Once you unlock the first exploration of space-age Jupiter moon, your colony on Venus will declare independence and will no longer be available to you. The exploration sites on the Venus world map will also no longer be available to you after independence. In order to continue producing Venus carbon and Venus goods, you will unlock synthesizers in the first researches, which will allow you to produce these resources in your main city in the future. From the spaceport in your city, you can now reach your new colony on Jupiter's moon. This underwater outpost serves you in the future for the production of the five new goods of this age. In order to get the production running, however, you must first settle colonists. Of course, they also need the important life support, which increases their productivity considerably. For the production of goods in the colony, as well as for the research, you have to collect the newly discovered unknown DNA. You will have to mine it again on Jupiter's moon's world map via the exploration sites. You unlock the exploration sites with different costs and production quantities on the two world map sections of Jupiter moon by conquering the provinces. But to start production, you'll have to invest credits that produce the housing cabins on the colony. But there are also some new buildings and upgrades for your capital. Besides one residential building, production facility, decoration, street and cultural building each there are also five new military buildings and one great building. This is the AI Core, a 5x5 building that produces goods for your guild treasury as well as a boost to the first collections of special goods in your main city but not from other great buildings. If you haven't reached at least the Arctic future yet, where the Arctic Harbor will be unlocked, you'll get a supplies boost in the previous ages instead. Also it is mandatory that you are part of a guild, otherwise this great building is not working. Last but not least, there will be 9 new avatars and a total of 7 new expansions with this new age. 3 premium expansions, 2 expansions in the tech tree, 1 on the world map and 1 metal expansion. Are you looking forward to taking the next big step to another celestial body? Write us your opinion in the comments below the video. See you soon!